Good afternoon, breaking news out of New Zealand. There have been multiple fatalities after the shootings at two mosques in the New Zealand city of Christchurch during Friday afternoon prayers. A car with explosives inside was intercepted by police in nearby. We have a report from our New Zealand Bureau. Here's Evelyn Vivas. Police say there are multiple fatalities after shooting at two mosques in the New Zealand city of Christchurch. The mosques were packed with worshippers gathering for Friday afternoon prayers and members of the Bangladesh cricket team were arriving when the shooter opened fire. Local media reported at least nine people were dead. The number may go up and, and the South Island city was placed in lockdown as police hunted for an active shooter. Police have advised that schools in the city remain in lockdown. There is no time frame for when that will be lifted. Police have encouraged parents not to go to the schools to try and collect their children, saying that they are being looked after by their schools. We also got reports with the Bangladesh cricket team just escaped after shots were fired at the Christchurch Mosque close to where the team was due to play, the final test match of the tour of New Zealand. All team members and staff caught up in the incident were able to return safely to their hotel. Yeah. Bangladesh Cricket confirmed after being refuged in the immediate aftermath in the dressing rooms of Hagley Over. Opening batsman Hanim Iqbal, Bangladesh's highest run scorer, said he and his teammates were able to flee the scene. He described the experience of fighting. Also a witness, her name is Len Peneha, said he saw a man dressed in black enter the mosque believed to have hundreds of people inside and then heard dozens of shots. He said he also saw the gunman flee before emergency services arrived. The city had been placed in lockdown with schools and public buildings closed. People taking part in nearby climate change protests were evacuated and council staff have been looking after children separated from their relatives in the chaos. The Prime Minister Jacinda Ardern said it was one of the New Zealand's darkest days, calling the attack an unprecedented act of violence. Many of those who will have been directly affected by this shooting uh, may be migrants to New Zealand. They may even be refugees here. They have chosen to make New Zealand their home and it is their home. They are us. The person who has perpetuated this violence against us is not. I would describe it as an unprecedented act of violence, an act that has absolutely no place in New Zealand. This is not who we are. What I can say is that it is clear that this is one of New Zealand's darkest days. We'll give you more updates as we follow this developing story. Reporting from New Zealand, this is Evelyn Vivas, and I'm one with 25. Meanwhile, we were able to get in touch with Philippine Ambassador to New Zealand, Gary Domingo. He said there were no Filipinos reported hurt in the incident so far. Here's Ambassador Gary Domingo. Okay, um, well, according to our honorary consulate and the Filipino community uh, in Christchurch, there are no reports yet of Filipinos being among the, the injured or killed, but we are still monitoring, and hopefully there will be none. Okay, um, sir. It's possible, well, also the city is still in uh, lockdown. Uh, the, there are armed police and heli helicopters going around, uh, going around Christchurch, uh, looking for the other possible shooters. Mm -hmm. So, sir, how many Filipinos are there in New Zealand? Overall, about 60,000, and in the Christchurch area, about uh, 5,000 plus. Mm -hmm. yes. Well, we are asking the Filipino community to report in to us, um, report that they are safe or, or anything so far. Um, again, there's been no indication of Filipinos being among those injured, but the situation is still tense. Um, uh, the houses and schools are still on the lockdown. Um, people are advised to stay home and to inform the police to call the, our emergency number here, 111, if they see anything suspicious. Yeah, this is 
incredibly, uh, incredibly strange because again, um, New Zealand is one of the most safest and uh, peaceful countries in the world with some of the most tolerant and accepting people. But as you may have seen from also from the media, um, somebody believed to have been the shooter, one of the shooters released this very anti-migrant, uh, very racist uh, manifesto. Mm -hmm. But he's apparently he's not even New Zealander. So um, again, um, this is a tragedy, but very unlike what is you see day to day in otherwise very peaceful and very welcoming New Zealand. Mm -hmm. Okay, well, so far, uh, we're glad to say that there have been no reports so far, but it's, it's still possible. We should continue to pray, pray for those who have been killed, who have been shot, and for the overall situation and people here in New Zealand. Um, please also try to get a hold of your relatives. Um, at least the phone lines are still down, I mean, are still open. Uh, social media is still accessible. And um, just let us know here at the embassy through our Facebook account, my if uh, there's anything we can do, but uh, we are in close touch, and please uh, contact me from time to time for, for any updates. The gunman who killed numerous worshippers in New Zealand mosque on Friday was a right-wing extremist with Australian citizenship, Prime Minister, or Prime Minister Scott Morrison said. Morrison said the shooting in the Christchurch was carried out by an extremist right-wing violent terrorist who was an Australian-born citizen. Meanwhile, Prime Minister Jacinda Ardern spoke at a press conference. Take a listen. Place in Christchurch this afternoon. It is with extreme sadness that I tell you that as at 7 p.m. tonight, we believe that 40 people have lost their lives in this act of extreme violence. Ten have died at Linwood Avenue Mosque, three of which were outside the mosque itself. A further 30 have been killed at Deans Avenue Mosque. There are also more than 20 seriously injured who are currently in Christchurch A&E. It is clear that this can now only be described as a terrorist attack. From what we know, it does appear to have been well planned. Two explosive devices attached to suspects' vehicles have now been found and they have been disarmed. There are currently four individuals who have been apprehended, but three are connected to this attack who are currently in custody. One of which has publicly stated that they were Australian born. These are people who I would describe as having extremist views that have absolutely no place in New Zealand and in fact have no place in the world. While we do not have any reason to believe at this stage that there are any other suspects, we are not assuming that at this stage. The Joint Intelligence Group has been deployed and police are putting all of their resources into this situation. The Defence Force are currently transporting additional police staff to the region. Our national security threat level has been lifted from low to high. This, I want to assure people, is to ensure that all our agencies are responding in the most appropriate way. That includes at our borders. Many of you will have seen that Air New Zealand has cancelled all turboprop flights out of Christchurch tonight and will review the situation in the morning. A New Zealand radio journalist tells the BBC World News that up to 27 people were killed in Friday afternoon's mass shooting. Also, Australia's Prime Minister Scott Morrison has just confirmed that the shooter who was taken into custody was an Australian-born citizen. He says Australian authorities are now involved in investigations as a result of this. Mass shootings are rare or are rare in New Zealand, which tightened its gun laws to restrict access to semi-automatic rifles in 1992. Two years after a mentally disturbed man shot dead 13 people in the South Island town of Aramoana. However, anyone over 16 can apply for a standard firearms license after doing a safety course.
which allows them to purchase and use a shotgun unsupervised. New Zealand police also warned against sharing footage relating to a deadly shooting in Christchurch Friday after a video online showed a gunman filming himself firing at worshippers inside a mosque. New Zealand police said in a Twitter post, quote, We would strongly urge that the link not be shared. We are working to have any footage removed. AFP analyzed a copy of a Facebook Live video that shows a clean-shaven Caucasian man with short hair driving to a mosque, then shooting as he enters the building. The gunman continues to shoot at people inside the mosque, some of whom were trying to flee while others were huddled in the corners of the building, according to the copy of the video that AFP found on YouTube. And that is the latest news for this hour. From Eagle News Service, I'm Judith Tamera and I'm One with 25.